national health. All of those are ways you can filter your search results. So if I wanted to look for fractions, I could go into my math, I can select my grade level, go to fifth grade, select my domain, and really it lets me browse the standards, because how many of you have those standards memorized? So some of you probably do. <laughs> if not, you can browse through these and read and then find the ones. So let's say I just want to look for any of them that fall within this domain, or I can get specific at the standard level. Do a search and it'll filter by anything that's been tagged to that standard. Now bear in mind, this is also dependent on whether or not someone has tagged it to the standard. Mm -hmm. So it is possible to have great resources in here for fractions that align to the standard. It just hasn't been tagged that way yet. Yes. So again, I, and you can see here's one that's been liked a couple times. It's been clicked through four times. Let's take a look at the additional information. So if I click on... Can I ask a question? Yeah, absolutely. Stop me anytime. You were saying that sometimes there are resources that haven't been tagged. So for example, I'm doing I'm searching on fractions. I come across something that's wonderful. Can I tag it? Absolutely. In fact, that's what we are encouraging. The more people we have that are adding to it by finding those great resources online and saying, I want to tag it and put it in here, the more this grows. And if you take a look at what information is saved about these resources, so this one that I pulled up is just someone's, it's Math Fun's webpage. They've got a description, but if I scroll down, I can see someone put it in, um, actually, it came from the National Science Digital Library. Here's all the different ways they tagged it. But if this was something I submitted, it would have my name as submitter, and it would show how I tagged it. And that's, that's what we want. We want more people to be growing this research resource bank. But if they submit it, 